welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen across the United States, across Ohio. Welcome to the radio show, The Mediator. It is my duty to give you the top eight stories that made it throughout the week. Not only the top eight, but some of the local stories that also made it. Let me read a disclaimer as it is protocol as usual. This is the show where I give you the top eight stories that are only documented for records and to highlight topics for those in the business of talk radio, talk media, and those who just want to stay informed. Now, folks, so there's a lot going on in the news. Like I said, I don't want to misdirect you on anything. If I say anything correct, please feel free to go to the web incorrect or you want to check the stories that almost made it into the top eight. Please feel free to go to the website site www.method the number 8 inccom that's method 8 inccom you can see the stories that almost made it into the mediator and you can comment on stories that are that were all that or that made it you can either like them or you can search our twitter twitter feed a lot going on in the world um like i said a lot if if you want to contribute in any way you can also go to the website and sponsor a program or you can just click something buy something watch something or read something if you want to show us some support like i said it's my duty to give you the news in the media and in, in the media what's going on in the news in the world so you can stay informed the story now let's get to the top eight story story number one this is the top, one of the top stories that made it into the media the battle between men and women yes yes folks men and women are still having a problem when it comes to equality and trying to figure out who does what role in the country of America founded off fundamentals in the past back in the day uh, I don't think uh, men women were not allowed to do as much they were not as free this story is is a is a deep story because it involves uh, other not just the United States but other countries who have not gotten over the barrier when it comes to women and men uh, doing things together equality some countries they don't allow women to do certain things and there was a story about a, a female genital uh, I guess they female genita genital mutilation where you had two young sisters in Somalia on September 11th they were uh, they were ex they had to go through a self-proclaimed traditional circumcision if you do not know what that is it is gruesome where uh, someone takes a razor blade and and cuts the clitoris of a female we also had in the news where you had uh, Serena Williams where she had got into it with an umpire and she was telling the umpire about about males and how uh, she feels that women are mistreated in 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 sports and it was on several stations where you probably seen it if you do not remember the one the, there was a movie that came out it, this if you get into this uh, over centuries men and 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 women especially scholars and people who analyze things and try to find a role for people in society like homosexuality women men and uh, there, there was in Greek mythology, they were and even in Egyptian mythology, there were female gods, people. They, they call them female gods, uh, goddesses, deities. They can't even under they, they can't understand in the Bible. They call it Lilith and Eve. They have all different types of ways to explain why some women uh, either either take ch take charge or, or have different mindsets. Some they even they have uh, theories like where they call it daughters of Eve, where Eve is is supposed to be uh, equal with Adam. That's in the Bible. That's in the Bible. So so in, in this in this new age, especially in America, it seems like there's still an issue when it comes to men and women understanding uh, certain things. Some things can be explained. Some things cannot be explained. Even even in the movie, there was a movie, uh, Wonder Woman. I, I I did not want to watch the movie at first because it has something to do with Margaret Sanger back in the day. Her her way of thinking was not fundamentally sound with other traditional ways of thinking so now that women are able to do things it, it is it's unbelievable i mean it is but but when when somebody is unethically treating each other that's where we seem to have a problem it's even a problem in the porn business well you'll have female porn stars saying that they've been abused and they've been on drugs and they've been abused by men so this is a a a a, a an occurrence that is happening not just in America but all across the world even in Christian and Muslim faiths uh, women are not uh, there there's there's a role for each person the Bible says one particular thing the Bible speaks about females it speaks about about them as prophetess it talks about certain women to look after even King Solomon has 700 wives and he talks about 
uh, how some how he didn't see any of them that were virtuous. So when you see stories about females getting mutilated or or or, or circumcised and and not not being allowed to be, have any pleasure in life, and that's that's the problem. And and even across the whole world, women are starting to voice their opinions and their concerns about their role in society. There's even, a, um, I'll get to this story later on, but uh, Ariana Grande, uh, the singer, has some issues with a bishop. And it's not its not a problem, but there's something in mediation that we're going to discuss today, uh, not just in this story, but as we go along, where you start to see t two sides having a voice of concern. And it's, it's, it's like a mommy and daddy situation where if one child may have a problem getting it from mommy, they may go to daddy and then there may be an argument because there's there's a certain way that I guess some people believe and some people believe. So the, the simple fact is that women and men are not equal and when it comes to uh, traits. Some women can do things better than some men. Some men can do th some things better than women, but one cannot exist without the other. So that means that a man cannot be a woman and a woman cannot be a man. There can be some people who are sexually deformed and may have some other capabilities and but that's a whole different topic but this topic uh, this story get, uh, eased its way into story number one because of the fact that it's a it's be, it's it's staying in the news uh, for a minute there i thought it was going to die down then the story about serena williams and some of the comments she made so we know serena williams is an excellent tennis player she's she's gifted and as you can see there's a lot of gifted people even her challengers um the, the the person she faced off against but the, the person she faced off against she herself uh was probably wanted a better a, a better outcome to the whole scenario but it it, it, it this, like i said this is this is an interesting story that may stay in the media uh there's uh, the catholic church is going through it when you talk about they have beliefs like the virgin mary and egyptology there's isis so Women are still trying to find a way. You even have the Harvey Weinstein story where he uh, had uh, partners with all these women who made it big in Hollywood and they're, they're crying rape, they're crying. Th so this story may stay in the news. I do not know, but it is a it is an interesting story. And as, and as we, as science and, and, and religious scholars battle it out, it seems that some people are still trying to find their, their place in a system where people can do things freely, where women can work, men can work, uh, men are losing jobs, uh, women are losing jobs. So that that story, this story may stay in the news. Let's get to story number two. I don't want to spend too much time on one story, but but that's a very very interesting story. And and I just I just talked about some of the highlights. I mean, you've even got some males who are killing their families because they can't feed their families. Uh, some women who are just abandoning their 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 role as a wife, they take the vows, they cheat, they do things, men are cheating. So uh, there's a, th this story probably will stay in the news. And if and when it, once you have people who are on television screaming foul, especially when it comes to the mistreatment of men and women, I do not see that story leaving the news anytime, anytime soon. Story number two, uh, well, let me get, if you want to contribute to the program, like I said, that story got me all, all pumped up. But if you want to contribute in any way, you can go to M-E-T-H-O-D, the number 8, I-N-C.com, method 8, I-N-C.com. If you want to contribute in any way, you can buy something, watch something, read something, or you can just um, sponsor a program. Uh, we are in the business of theater, media, videos, movies, music, publishing consultants, business consultants, marketing consultants, event planners, photography, videography, modeling, web consultants, performing arts specialists. So if you had anybody who wants to be, I have to live by our moral code of conduct, which is promote ethical stories, stories that combat a cause. So we don't do too much of uh, anything that doesn't deal with that um a lot there's still people who are still offended by certain people's language so some stuff we cannot i can i can teach i can do things but if you have anybody we're at 5648 market street in boardman ohio i'm there from 10 to 6 monday through friday if you want to stop by also the nonprofit of the week tony budak and the time banking members uh, they will be showing a movie uh, tank, I think it's Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, and Spy. They'll be showing it at the Arab American Cultural Educational Center. That's 15 Belgrade Avenue, Youngstown, Ohio. 
Like I said, it is my duty in the media to give you the top eight stories that made it throughout the week. And we're going to get to story number two. I'm going to have a drink because, like I said, there are no breaks. 60 minutes of mediation and my throat is getting dry. Hold on one second as I promote public water. <sighs> Tastes good. Public water. Wish I could taste sinuses, but it's all right. Story number two. What does the future hold for athletes around the world? Big story, big story, uh, because it, uh, it involves athletes. And if you did not know, the field of af athleticism is a big field. It's a big money, money maker. People love to see people compete and people will pay top price. Athletes go at it. They condition every day. It is not easy. People are concerned about their pay, how much money they're receiving. People are concerned about the fairness Folks, I just want to tell you to be a professional athlete is not easy and it requires work. So uh, they people, but, but honest Americans are concerned because even this story will not leave the news. It is a story about Colin Kaepernick, Nike, and the story about kneeling during the national anthem. This story will not. I, for a second there, I thought this story would leave the news, but it keeps creeping in and creeping out because of, um, because I guess because of the significance of it. And when it comes to moral concerns about the ethical value, when it comes to sports and athletes playing, there were even some instances in Russia where they had um, some doping problems in the Olympics. They, if you do not know the uh, past history of athletes and, and the Olympics and, and people competing, they do some amazing things to their body. It even happened in baseball when they had the steroid error. So a story like this creeps into the news. And the reason why it is at number two is because of the fact that they're starting, that athletes are starting to engage in political affairs. That means that they're starting to engage in politics issues that strike interest with not only just Americans, but the world, everybody. And when you have an athlete or somebody who uh, makes it to a Super Bowl and then all of a sudden takes a knee and then uh, cre get, creates buzz and then uh, creates an issue that people are saying it, it is, is, is not a problem, but then there's a, a, a certain group that's saying it is a problem. And it deals either with uh, stereotyping, racism, police brutality, or certain things like that. But this story is, is staying in the news. It even involves ESPN uh, reporter, uh, she's an, an analyst, uh, Jamil Hill. She's parting ways with ESPN because she called the president a racist. Um, and, uh, this, like I said, this story is, 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 is staying when it comes to professional athletes. We, like I said, we just had the, the big ordeal with the, um, the tennis, the tennis match, the U S open. And even with Tiger, they even threw Tiger Woods into the mix when, and it, people are concerned. I'm going to get to another story that relates this in a second, because the academic field is struggling. People, uh, call it people who are paying college tuitions feel like they're not getting anything for their education and it's starting to mix because they're pointing a the finger and when it comes to money and people not eating they start to look at people who have the money and try to figure out why is it that this person receives this much money and and we have so many skills and we're not getting paid so even on the workroom floor some union leaders who are on the workroom floor are 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 throwing up flags so this story number two may stay in the news i i do not know you have uh josh gordon who just got released by the browns you have football players talking about cte uh you have uh even if you have past stories like lance armstrong who wanted to tour to france and and he got into some situations so this is the stress of being an athlete and if you do not remember lance armstrong was a cancer su survivor so Athletes are having to go through the extreme to stay competitive and stay afloat in, in, in a money-driven capitalistic system. Without sponsors, are they considered athletes? And uh, I'm going to sponsor, once again, Public Water because I play the sports myself. And for some odd reason, my throat is getting dry. So I'm going to take another shout out to Public Water, folks. It's tap water. Uh, it's not. It's it's a mix with a little bit of a spring, and I'm going to sponsor it on the air. I'm going to take another sip. Hold on one second. As you can see, public water is still existing in some people's lifestyle, but the role of an athlete in society. 
Uh, you have people like, like I said, even even when you had the big greats like uh, Deion Sanders, uh, all athletes, Mark McGuire, Barry Bonds, all uh, having issues when the sports, every athlete goes through that midlife crisis where something may go wrong in their career that will put them at the center of attention. And some athletes are make or break it. So that's the that story made it into number two. And that is I don't I, I don't see this story uh, leaving because athletes are still going through the extreme and they are they they have a voice in this. Some athletes have even compared being an athlete to slavery. Folks, this story may stay in, in the media. It may it may not stay in the media, but it uh, it may stay in the news. But just because of the fact that it's on a global scale, you had United States football players, athletes kneeling in a, a, I think it was a, a international game in Europe. Some of them stayed in the locker room. This is during the Star Spangled Banner. So athletes staying in the news we're going to get to story number three in a second like i said if you want to contribute in any way feel free to go to m-e-t-h-o-d the number eight inc.com that's method eight inc.com you can sponsor program you can uh watch uh, watch programs you can buy stuff watch stuff read stuff if you want to show us some support you can also look at the news stories that almost made it into the mediator you can comment on the stories that did make it or you may have a story yourself that you may want to put in the mediator we are a uh, theater media video movies and music specialist me myself i try to do community service every little bit that comes into method a goes to training actors i try to stay ethical and in the lines of our business statement sometimes i've been the rules like anybody else because i have sympathy and i love everybody but some things man, i cannot do because some people are offended by certain things so i try to stay stay in the middle and that you do try to help everybody that comes in but some things i cannot do um, it is a uh, for-profit company but it's always been mission driven and i'm the president so i try to do my best we also involve publishing consultants business consulting marketing consultants event planners photography videography modeling web consultants and performing arts there's also some affiliates like uh, we have some ink guys some technicians who come in who can repair computers i'm there from uh, i'm at 5648 market street in boardman ohio i'm there from 10 to 6 monday through friday if you want to swing by feel free to stop in and see my smiling face i love to do the do you know do the do so when it's my time to dance i, I do my one two step so if you want to stop in anytime and you want to just come in and um and uh, show us some love, like I said. If that's that's what we're there for, this nonprofit week, we this nonprofit for this week, we are spotlighting Tony Budak and Time Banking. They will be having movie night from six to six thirty p.m. at the Arab American Cultural um, Educational Center, and I guess that is in Youngstown, Ohio, fifteen Belgrade Avenue. Uh, they will be showing Tinker Taylor Soldier, and I guess it's a spy, and spy, I guess it's a story. Tony Budek and the Time Banking, he's been doing it for a while. Let's get to story number three. Now, story number three is a big story that I, I also, I, I don't see the story leaving the news either. Because uh, student debt, this, the headline reads, student debt and who will have to pay. If you do not know, uh, the United States is responsible is has 1.5 trillion in student debt, and that is students, college students. And I related, I I, I had a talking point about uh, athletes and how, if you do, if you don't understand, there's even some uh, stuff in the news about free college. People talking about free college, and uh, people on the other side, or even when it comes to Democrats and Republicans. Republicans, most Republicans, conservatives, traditionalists, people who understand money are saying it is almost impossible. But uh, we had a problem because uh, Mick Mulvaney, who was uh, in charge of uh, the education department, he resigned after evidence that banks have been charging dubious account fees to college students. Uh, I was a college student. I, my, my loan debt is, is unbelievable. I, I do I own money on loans I, i've been paying some and i i had I, I was a public servant so some of my college debt has been um i'm, I'm still in in the income but I, that's why if you contribute to the program you may be able to not only help me but help out my cause and the things that i try to do i'm i'm retired but there are some kid there are some kids and some people who've been going to college and and they don't have the money to pay. They can't find the jobs. And that's how the system works. Uh, there are people screaming government help. 
people screaming things, but uh, this this cannot keep up. People need money to survive in a capitalist system. Some people are saying sacrifice. Some people are saying do this. But when you have a uh, uh, at the democracy where some people do not understand dollars, they do not understand money, they follow bad role models, they drag you into things and you can't pay for it, you have to pay up and you get deeper and deeper into a hole. That's why I'm saying this uh, student loan and debt problem, I do not see leaving the media. Uh, now some uh, people are suing for profit giants. The college that I went to, to ITT Tech, they got in trouble with some, uh, I guess they were... Uh, holding taking college people's money and spending it on themselves even corinthian colleges this is uh this is a story that may shoot up if it stays in news it it, it the amazing thing about the story is it died down for a little while it was trickling in and out and then um it caught my eye and it pumped right back into the news so the college debt issue the college debt issue will can we're approaching midterms folks and i'm telling you these politicians, they will they will talk. They will tell you that they will give you free college and they will tell you this for that vote. But what you have to do as a voter is you have to analyze their plan and you have to see where the money is coming from. I'm telling you right now in the United States, in the world, nothing is free. I'm just explaining it. me. I, I've, if I did not have so many bill collectors. And, and, and I have had no I'm in a leadership position at my little business. It may not be big, but but I understand that I have to pay bills. And if, if I don't pay up, I just had um, notices that people want money and they need money. And then people who can't pay, if, if you have money, they want to borrow it off you. It's no different from college. Those college students are, are going to school. They're getting scholarships. Some of them have, uh, some of them owe the college. They don't understand how money works. They're going in there. Some of them are wasting time. Some of them get pregnant. Some of them start using drugs. This is a brutal uh, topic that I do not see leaving the news, folks. I'm telling you right now, this is a big story. Let's get to story number four real quick. Um, Really quick, if you want to contribute in any way, you can go to METHOD, the number 8, INC.com. We're almost at the half minute mark. Uh, you can. We are in the business of theater, media, videos, movies, music. We are publishing consultants, media consultants, marketing consultants, event planners, photography, videography, modeling, web consultants, and we also deal with the performing arts. We are at 5648 Market Street in Boardman, Ohio. If you want to contribute in any way, you can go to METHOD, the number 8, INC.com. That's method 8, INC.com. You can sponsor program buy something click on something watch something or read something story number four is the immigration issue folks if you do not know there are 12,800 immigrant children being cared for by health and human by the health and human service department I say the because it is a government funded institution I believe and this is the most ever that means that this is the most ever children that they've had to care for and some people are wondering that is this strategic Every country has to protect its border. Every country has to understand who is coming in and out of the country because of the fact that we live in a world where there are enemies that will infiltrate a country, even within the base of the country. So some people are crying, are trying to figure out what to do. Now, the, the, key, the key thing that you have to understand in this story when it comes to the immigration issue is the fact that there are illegal immigrants and there is someone seeking asylum. And what that means is there's someone coming to another country because there's something going on within their own country that they can't take. So they're pretty much refugees trying to get help. So this is the problem. So whatever is going on in the news and you're and you're and especially when it comes to the midterms and who you want to put in office, understand this type of terminology because a story can be mis misinterpreted when it comes to people talking about the immigration issue and 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 the refugee issue. When it comes to children and separating families, and and there there this story, uh, it it died down for about a good week, and then it crept its way back in, uh, because because some because uh, because of the Trump effect and because of the fact that uh, there's two parties battling it out, and the and not even just in the news, but in reality, folks, and and some people are when you see things happening within a country that founded and promotes freedom and any and, and equality and you see stories like this pop up do not close your eyes on the real things that are happening there's something going on in this story there's there's a reason why stories pop up in the news all the time so 
that this story I do not see. If you the U.S. this this is also because the because the cost that's the big problem. The cost these children have to be fed. They have to have housing. They have to be educated. Some of them don't know the language. Some of them and they, the money has to come from somewhere. So the and, the and the U.S. also wants to pay millions to help the the the, the country of Mexico deport some of their immigrants because of the fact that it's a national security problem so it, it, when you when you paint your country to be bad or wrong and it's the wealthiest nation in the world the most resources the most that you can provide for the world when you have caretakers policing the globe all over the place even the military so when you look at that and you look at this story if you take this out of consideration the the reality of it and, and if you have, and this is just like anybody, most people cannot just live off one government paycheck because they have children that need to be fed. They have bills that need to be paid. The cost of living goes up. So if you can just imagine what it's like having uh, people needing help and they, 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 they're they seeking help because something is going on in their country. I do not see this story. Uh, I, I, this story jumped up to number four, but it, I, I think it's going to keep, I think it's going to stay in the news. If it continues to get, stay in the news. Um, this story may bump up a few more notches real quick if you want to contribute in any way help us out you can go to m-e-t-h-o-d the number eight inc.com that's method eight inc.com you're in the media with brian west where i give you the top eight news stories that made it throughout the week important stories that may not only affect you but may it, like i said you may have to really dig dig deep because like i said election season election season is, is almost there we're almost at midterms and and there's two parties battling it out i mean they are going throat to throat things are popping up in the news because people people need people want and people people want the government to step in people don't have a paycheck people can't find a job so if you want to help us out and you want to um uh, just contribute in any way you can go to our website m-e-t-h-o-d the number eight inc.com method eight inc.com you can buy something click on something watch something or just read something i'm in the business me the, the ceo i'm in the business of theater media videos movies music we are publishing consultants, business consultants, marketing consultants, event planners, photography, videography, modeling, web consultants, performing arts specialists. Now, I do not compete, uh, but if you want to join the network, we have a few people in our network. We have some guys who do ink, some guys who do uh, computer repair. Um, if you want to join the network, just come in. Only thing I cannot do is I have to live by moral standards because some things are still offensive to everybody else like uh i mean i'm not perfect but i try to run a clean f format I, I i have to wash myself daily too folks i mean uh but uh but i i wish i i wish i could accept every but if you want to get training you want to exercise you want to get in the game uh sometimes i i lower the bar and i do go out and, out of my ways I, I take a lot of pain i take a lot of heat uh, it's not easy but but i have nothing else to do so if you want to contribute in any way you can go to our website m-e-t-h-o-d the number eight inc.com that's method eight inc.com you can buy something click on something watch something or read something or just sponsor a program the nonprofit we are shouting out this week is tony budak and the time banking members he is there from 6 p.m to 6 30 p.m uh september 17th that's tomorrow they'll be showing a movie um tinker taylor soldier and spy and they will be at the Arab American Cultural Educational Center. That's at 15 Belgrade Avenue, Youngstown, Ohio. Now let's get to story number five. Uh, we are half. We are at the halfway point, and we are breezing through, folks. Keeping an eye on Russia. Uh, this story bumped up to number five. There are a few reasons that why this story is staying at number five and may stay in the news. Because uh, everybody has been keeping their eye on uh, just what's been going on in Syria and, and Russia and China and North Korea. And something is, something is up. Uh, something is going on. You have Russian airplanes that were reported flying over Alaska. There was also some reports in the past of spy ships, Russian spy ships around the United States. There were even a story that circulated about a Russian spy that was in America. Uh, there, there's probably plenty of them in America, but one of them had uh, some issues. There's even stories about Russia meddling in elections, collusion, stories like that. And when you have uh, the president and you have former presidents like uh, former candidates like Hillary Clinton, and you have people wondering uh, what 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 is Russia doing? Uh, Vladimir Putin, even in his country, people were uh, upset about the election that took place. They wanted to know. Uh, 
I mean, the guy won by a landslide. So and when you have world leaders coming to the table to meet with the presidents, then you also have the fact that the president and the Republican Party has been screaming, secure the border, secure the border. When you hear things like this, folks, these are traditional war tactics. Now, that means that when it, whenever you see stories like this popping up in the media, that that there, that means that uh, somebody knows something that other people should be reading into, getting to understand, trying to figure out drugs are being channeled into the United States to the borders. And how do you divide a country? If you want to divide a country, you go after the political structure and you find out what is that country's weakness and how it can be divided. And the United States has, has, had, has had racial strife and political strife for years, folks. Then you have the fact that Russia has been running combat drills with over 300,000 soldiers being involved. So the question now is, why is everyone all of a sudden getting cozy with Russia? This, I do not see this story leaving the news. I, I, I think this story is going to uh, stay in the news because uh, there's something going on on a global scale. If you don't remember, I'm sure some of the uh, old World War veterans uh, will remember Pearl Harbor and how the United States uh, ended up getting dragged into World War II. This is a, this is a, a what, we're, what we're seeing right now is, uh, is, I don't think will what people are afraid of is 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 if if is is will we be in a cold war state ever again? That's what people are afraid of. But the the reality of the situation is that somebody on this position when it comes to the globe has some tactics and they're using their same old war tactics. There's actually a book on about on 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 wars on how to do things to to get help like when it comes to power or or, or or securing the borders then you have stories like if, if you remember old literature stories like uh, a story about achilles and uh his achilles heel and you have guys who get in who have countries who send prostitutes to get to get men to to put down their guard so this is this is what we're seeing here is a is something that everybody is trying to figure out what is going even in the media like you 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 hear the president again i get to that uh talking about fake news uh what's happening you 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 see the president on guard the white house you see uh people uh crying or or saying that this is happening this is happening this party is responsible for this and 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 everybody the simple fact is is that when when a country gets attacked we saw it with 9-11 you can either continue to battle about the issues or some people just have to take up grounds. There was even the gun debate on uh, why Americans need to be armed. When you have enemies scattered all across the world, some allies, some enemies, and everybody's has to, and these leaders have to feed their people. They have to make sure the government has to care for their people because they have to have people in the battlefield. This story probably will stay. I, I don't see it leaving the news. I, I do not see because something is going on on the battlefield uh and 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 it it is causing a lot of um concerns when it comes to uh stories that are staying in the news i i i didn't i i was wondering i kept i kept i've been wondering for about the past two years why has russia been staying in the news why does this country why does its leaders keep popping in and out of you out of the news what makes russia so important i do not see that story leaving the news if you want to contribute in any way you can go to m-e-t-h-o-d the number eight inc.com that's method eight inc.com you can buy something click on something watch something or just read something I'm in the business of media, theater, videos, movies, music, uh, publishing consultants, business consultants, marketing consultants, and even event planners, photography, videography, modeling, web consultants, and performing arts specialists. Um, I do this for the community. I'm retired, got banged up serving the country, but I do this for the community. Like I said, uh, try to give everybody a chance. I uh, can't 
can't do some things that we want to do uh, community network so if you want to join the network swing by every contribution that you make goes towards um, training and, and trying to get people something that they enjoy doing some people take a different path some people don't some people decide to stay with it we're at 5648 Market Street in Boardman Ohio and like I said, if you want to contribute in any way, go to M-E-T-H-O-D, the number 8, I-N-C.com. You can buy something, click on something, watch something, or just read something. Or you can just sponsor a program. The nonprofit that we are shouting out this week is Tony Budak and the Time Bankers. He will be at the Arab American Cultural Center. Yeah, I'm sorry, Arab American Cultural Educational Center. That's at 15 Belgrade Avenue, Youngstown, Ohio. He will be there from 6 to 6.30. And I guess they will be showing a film. We have a movie night, Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, and Spy. That's the film that they'll be showing. Now it's time to get to story number six. Story number six. Why religion and God are still a hot topic. God is all. People who believe say they've seen miracles. They, they believe in something. Uh, but there's something going on when it comes to the practice of religion. There are some... There's some things that are starting to be revealed where some people have some uh, some issues. And uh, I, I, the reason why I say this is because the, stat, the Catholic story about the priest crept back into the news. We've seen stories like this emerge in the church over and over again. And a, a lot of people know what goes on in churches. And it, it, the church uh, has done a lot of good and it's done... A, a lot of harm in some people's lives. Uh, I I say this because if, if if the church has never had problems, then Paul himself would have not ever had to write uh, letters to the churches explaining the 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 responsibilities of a church and how you have to stay grounded, stay grounded into, into the Bible, read daily if you want to understand the ways, and not, a, not only in your own genealogy, but the, the foundation of where most religions stem from, the historical value. So the church, church memberships have been declining. Some have seen consistent membership. Some have seen uh, things happen. But when you're, when you're respond, when you talk about Catholicism and you talk about the Catholic church, uh, there, there, uh, I do not see this story leaving. Um, I, I don't see this story leaving the news. This story has been in the news since, uh, since they came out with the movie Primal Fear. I don't know if anybody remembers that movie, but there was a movie about, a uh, good actor too. I mean, this guy played this part. He, he had split personalities. He ended up uh, murdering a priest, murdering, uh, because he was being molested. And, 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 and the next thing you know, the story unfolds to where they find out that he, he did commit the crimes, but he weaseled his way to become innocent. He made them please. He made them believe that he was insane. And, and in this story, when it comes to the priest and um, the Catholic faith, uh, anybody who's been in that church environment will tell you it is not easy serving the community. It is not easy being a patron or trying to uh, be a parishioner in any aspects. There are a lot of people who hate preachers. There are a lot of preachers who hate people. You even have uh, the, Ari the Ariana Grande situation where you had the bishop in the spotlight. Folks, it's God's house. Uh, that's what it's always been. But uh, when you start attacking the church, the church has uh, significance in any community. There's a lot of good. When people have no place to go, when poor people are just fed up, they have no money left, and they have no means to get food, um, uh, the system has, has been designed around the church giving charity and the when in the united states we have separation between church and state so that means if you can't go to the government you should always be able to go to the church but folks uh this story uh may stay in the news um when whenever you see uh they they have terms in church like uh heathen uh people without they they have uh, infidels i mean there's tons of terminology for people who do not have a religious basis any type of religious values or don't believe in anything atheists uh, you have uh, uh, uh i mean tons of stories uh, tons of names that they give people uh that, that that don't believe in some form of god but scientists uh physicists will tell you that there is something that is controlling the universe they can't see it we can't touch it and uh, they, you're talking about years of study, years of study. Even in when Egypt was founded, the the even in the foundation of Egypt, the 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 people need something to believe in. Religion has been on this planet for ages, ages. People in church are not stupid. They're there. Some of some people may think they're stupid, but there's wisdom and there's understanding. My advice to anybody is that read your Bible, 
get what you can out of it and read it first of all do not put your, it tells you do not put your faith in man do not put your faith in a preacher but um uh, this is this this story uh when it comes to the catholic faith and the popes and the bishops and the the molesting of or whatever they were doing to the kids this is this is bad business uh for for the business of god uh, and uh and uh when you especially when you've uh had a uh, past problems when you've um cast people out of the church uh and now you have the academic field involved you have scientology so many faiths battling it out uh this story when it comes to religion uh there's still saints on the battlefield and a lot of these saints are like I said, this is a uh, this story got bumped all the way up to number six when it first and it, 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 it crept back into the news and and, and that's uh, whenever you're dealing with children and 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 uh, like I said, I don't know where this story will lead at in the upcoming weeks. We are almost up to the first two stories. Like I said, we're about to hit to the first two stories that made it to the mediator this week. Um, like I said, it's my duty as a mediator to stay in between, uh, mediate, try to get something out of the deal. I come to save the day, try to save and, and, and get people enlightened to stay informed because the news, you have to stay informed. I don't care which way you turn. You may turn left, you may turn right, but you have to choose a path. And um, it's always good to stay informed or stay read up, stay exercised. If you want to contribute in any way, you can go to M-E-T-H-O-D, the number 8, I-N-C.com. That's methodating.com. You can buy something, click on something, watch something, or read something, or you just sponsor a program. I'm in, the, I'm in the business of theater, media, videos, movies, music, publishing consultants, business consultants, marketing consultants, event planning, photography, videography, modeling, web consultants, and performing art specialists. It's a network, so if you want to join the network, if you're a business or have something you want to, you need more customers, you don't have the, the means, you just need some help, uh, that's what I'm there for. I try my best to serve the community. Um, everything is not going down here. There are still some people trying to do, the, there's still a lot of people trying to do the right thing, but uh, when things don't add up, um, that's usually what creates a lot of confusion. Uh, the, the, the nonprofit of the week that we're shouting out is Tony Budak and the Time Bankers. They, uh, to Mahoning Valley Watershed, they will be at the Arab American Cultural Educational Center six, from 6 to 6.30 p.m. at 15 Belgrade Avenue, Youngstown, Ohio. They will be showing the movie Tinker, Taylor, Soldiers, and Spy, and he will probably be talking about the membership of Time Banking. So, let's get the story. Let's get to the top two stories that made it to the media this week. Story number seven. Is the United States prepared for another major disaster? Folks, story number seven. This story got bumped up if you do not see what's been going on. There have been hurricane alerts, uh, weather alerts uh, popping off for the past few weeks. There's been weather, weather, weather all in the news. Global warming, all different types. This story got bumped up to number seven because of the fact that their technology has changed the way that uh, people are warned about um, weather. And when you have hurricanes and people in leadership position telling people to get out, go, leave, don't stay because something's about to happen. Some people leave, some people stay. And some people, the people who stay, sometimes they can't afford to leave. Sometimes they don't know where to go. They don't have any place to go. And some people ride it out. But the fact is we have so much technology right now that 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 this world didn't probably didn't dream of. Or if it, if it did, it wasn't in our lifetime where you can see what's happening in the weather. You can see when a hurricane is coming. You can see when a storm is about to happen. Uh, volcanoes, outbreaks, diseases, people getting kidnapped. Your phone just starts beeping outrageously. So now is a time where people can know things before, people can be forewarned to save their own lives. So we're living in that day and age. But the big thing that is the big issue about when a weather crisis happens and it is insurance. Do you know that federal programs are capped at 250000 per structure? And we are looking at when, it, when we had, I believe it was Hurricane Harvey. There was one, I believe it was $17 billion in damages. And, that, and it was, that was covered. Those uninsured amounted to $40 billion. So that lets you know, if, if, if you don't understand, insurance was an, an interesting invention back in the day where there was a pool and everybody put into the pool of insurance. People put into the pool and then if you signed up, you, gotta, you get a lump sum to pay for the damages. 
and this was a, a bright idea I, I forget what year it came out but but they are saying that most people in these disaster areas we just had a problem in Boardman where there was flooding people were not insured this is becoming a big big problem because the federal government like if, if, if I just said they have caps and, and some of that money so some people are left homeless some people are left with no money like I said this system is designed every, every anybody who trains a kid and does not teach them that some things that, that mostly if if I were not a victim of being uh, being harassed by bill collectors having to watch my finances going through a divorce realizing that I'm I'm human I I, I have bills like everybody else if I were if I if I did not witness this myself I wouldn't be telling you everything comes at a price folks nothing in this world is free. Even in, when you're in the church pew, pews and, and, and you're hearing the gospel music playing, those clergymen have to be paid. That building has to be paid. There are bills, folks. And in the White House, there are bills. And there are, there are human beings who need some type of disaster relief. They need some type of fund me account or however they can get help because they did not have insurance. And this is a big story. I don't see this story leaving the news as long as there's bad weather around. This story probably will stay in the news. It's at number seven. Now, folks, we are ready to the top lucky number eight ball story that made it into the media this week. Story number eight ball eight. Why are the police on the radar? The police have been, when, when you see the police being victimized, uh, being being pointed out, in a country that um, that needs needs policing, that needs good ethical police, and needs good ethical citizens, this story is uh is is not. I, I don't see this story. I thought this story was gonna die down, but when you have uh, big time athletes, I mean big time athletes, legendary athletes, uh, putting a voice in the battle. Even, even you got even guys like LeBron James. You get, uh, I mean big time uh, talking about nike and and talking about uh, logos and folks uh this is this is big um uh, uh if you do not know uh the the cop let let me this story is so big i'm going to take a public water break because uh public water is free folks and and i'm going to take as much of it as i can if the if the city is giving it out and it's filtered I'm going to take me a water break because, because this story is deep. Hold on one second. Let me, let me, let me, you can listen to the sound. <sighs> Public water. Taxpayer funded. Marijuana was found in an apartment where a female police officer killed her neighbor. There has been, uh, if you do not remember, uh, Colin Kaepernick said the police uh, were a form of uh of slate of uh, I guess they because of the fact that uh, they're they're they were a form of keeping slaves intact. So there's a battle going on, folks, when it comes to police and and America. But the reality of the situation is, what would the world be like with no help, nobody to come to the aid of something? The justice system is is a, a complicated structure. And there are there are police will tell you I have a I have some friends that are police I have some friends who are not police I grew up in the, I grew up in the hood I grew up in Youngstown I I, I, I was not raised around um, I, I'm not gonna lie to you I was raised in some some unfamiliar circumstances but this story right here did this story right here though this story right here is uh is staying in the media for some odd reason and it, it, it will not leave i mean it will leave it will go out for three days and the next thing you know it'll pop right back in now most of what we're seeing in today's news <coughs> this is similar to past uh strategically covered st covered stories if, if I, all i'm telling you is if you have a problem with the story go back into the news and and look at patterns uh, and the news from years ago especially when it comes to politics and you'll see stories like this in past, especially during the great depression uh, about gang violence uh how gangs were formed I, I advise you to go look up that how gangs were formed and and look up why this story is in the media this this is now you when you see people shouting out fake news um uh, about and, and you may notice certain stories that just will not die down there's a pattern folks now 
their perception plays a big part in this in this story. My advice to anybody who gets involved in these stories is is look let one thing about justice is the truth will eventually come out. You it, it takes a, it takes a lot of time and perception can 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 leave you in an empty path. In in college we had to study when you look at a picture you may see it from one angle. But the but something is going on inside the story. Like you may see a video where you see uh, police hitting somebody or somebody hitting a cop. That's what you'll see. But there may be tons of things that you don't know about that may all of a sudden just start surfacing and somebody ends up looking very, very bad, very bad. So this is this story is uh, this is this is uh, college. This is college 101. This is child. Uh, 101 when you're trained as a child and you're growing up so uh but this story uh, even when you have a story where a, a ohio mother was killed in a police chase she she has she has uh five children so story number eight and this top story will probably stay in the news let me get to the local stories really really fast we're down to the last five last four minutes of the show uh there's some local stories going on uh, Tax-funded Youngstown Regional Airport has experienced a decline uh, in, in traveling activity. Flights have been have dropped 70 percent. This puts America. This puts the airport at risk of losing federal dollars. So you got You got to stay active in your community. Education is the key. You have to understand how things work, folks. Uh, federal dollars. There has to be activity. If if you want any type of government funding, if you want your city to look great, there's also been uh, 700. Uh, there's 700 are walking against. Uh, it's the stigma for being mentally ill. I was not present. <laughs> uh, everybody has some mental problem. I mean, we're all taking some medication, but 700 walked in Youngstown uh, uh, f because of their stigma for being mentally ill. Youngstown City Schools still receiving a failing grade from the state or for a state report card, but they're but they are not alone. How do you grade children when they when everybody has a different method of being taught? That's the question. Do you put them? But do you pressure or beat education into children? It's not going to happen. Uh, they've tried it for years. Melkry Park contributions have increased. The park has received more than two point four million in private donations since January. So that's that's not a bad story. I want to thank you so much for tuning into the meter this week. Like I said, if you want to contribute in any way, you can go to M E T H O D, the number eight INC dot com, and you can buy something, click on something, watch something, or just read something. You can also sponsor a program. We are in the business of theater, media, videos, movies, music, and all types of stuff. Like I said, if you want to contribute in any way. The book of the week of the month still is G Men. Uh, J. Edgar Hoover's uh, uh, popular story was written by Richard Powers. It was a, it's an oldie but a goodie. Talks about some of the things that happened when the country was in decline and uh, the government had to come to the rescue. Uh, like I said, I want to thank you so much for tuning into the meter this week. If you have any concerns or you want to contribute in any way, go to M E T H O D the number eight I N C dot com. You can buy something, click on something, watch something, or read something. Shout out to all the nonprofits out there. If you want to send us a story, feel free. To let us know. If you want to see the stories that almost made it into the meter this week, feel free to go to our website. I am thankful, thankful. Uh, it's been a it's a good day here in uh, Youngstown. It's beautiful. I'm probably gonna go home and catch up on some things. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Those are the top eight stories that made it into the meter this week. And feel free, feel free to show us some love. And like I say, it always, always, folks, always, always, not only just to your neighbor, but to your fellow countrymen, to your fellow community, to your fellow people, uh, spread joy, love, belief, give people something to believe in. It's not always bad. Politics is not always the topic. There's other things going on, and there's good news out there. I want to thank you so much for tuning to the meter this week with me, your host, Brian West. And uh, I am out of here, folks. Have a good week, everybody. Thanks for tuning to the meter with Brian West. Have a good week, everybody. Have no fear, fellow citizens. The meter is here.